Hey gang, today we are taking a look at the Atomic Firebox Mark II. Mark II. Did I say Mark II? It's the Mark II. So this is quite cool. Uh, Atomic sent me one of these to check out and I thought it was cool and I wanted to share this with you. So what makes a Mark II a Mark II? A couple really cool things. They've uh, improved the amp modeling, which that's the number one thing, right? That You could have stopped there. Um, they also uh, improved the uh, UI and the software controlling app uh, is improved in terms of its cleanliness and simplicity. So that's always nice too, because I hate reading manuals. I just want to look at it and go like, oh, I know what that does. Boop, boop, boop. Good to go. Uh, a couple other really nice features. They're the headphone jack, because this sounds awesome in headphones. It really does sound excellent and it weighs nothing. So also makes an incredible practice amp. These buttons now have been freed up, which is lovely. So you could assign both buttons, things to both buttons even, which is awesome. You could have a like a gate on one side, uh, like a super tight gate. And then if you're not using the gate, you turn it off. You know, so if you want some leads and you want to go into like some, yeah, there you go. The other side, you could have your delay or whatever, you know, you could set these to anything because the software is uh, super mega functional. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a couple sounds on this and uh, it's really rad. I'm running straight to the Firebox Mark II, which is connected via USB to my computer. And that's how we're getting this uh, controller software. So that's up on my computer. USB, it's controlling the Firefox, so they're talking to each other. So you watch this, and I control my little knob. I could change to my other presets, and they go, and what's kind of cool, so if I grab a knob that's not in the right place for that preset, uh, like this one, you'll see it's telling me which direction to turn it, and it gets faster as I get closer, like a tuner, basically. And then that's right on the money. That's awesome. Really thought through nicely. Okay, so the first preset I made is uh, based on one of their Deluxe 2s, and it sounds fantastic. Let me turn off the effects real quick for you. One of the things I changed is I put it through one of their stock greenback cabs. Uh, it comes with three cabs preloaded, three presets preloaded, and then you could change from there. There's more on the website you could download. There's IRs there and stuff. Um, I like my fenders through greenbacks anyway, so, and I like them through 412s. Especially if I'm going for that kind of Tom Petty sort of thing. Which, uh, that does really, really nicely. This is the patch that I made for the lead more of the lead stuff. That's a lovely, lovely sound. Let me show you one of the coolest things about this. I, I think it's assigning the foot switches. I think it's very easily laid out and makes everything really simple and fun to use. I've got a slap tape echo going, pretty short one. Let me go down here. Lovely, right? When I turn that off, I have it more of a A to B flip-flopping with that switch rather than an on off. Now it goes to the reverb. Also nice, it's just gonna fill in the background. So rather than just going into a bypass, um, I go to the echo. And you can see that right here where I have the echo assigned to foot switch B. I have the reverb set to foot switch B off on the invert. So if you wanted to, I could remove the reverb so it's on all the time and I could bring in the delay when I want. But 
the reason I did that and I made it alternating is that the reverb ate the delay. Um, it's just happening because of the way it's a fairly subtle delay and the wash of the reverb was eating it up. So putting it to an inverse thing here. Now they just switch. Awesome. So I'm doing the same thing on the foot switch A side as well. So I have a compressor, which I just like on. Very cool. And then I assigned that foot switch to jump over to a fuzz, but taking the compressor off because I just didn't need the compressor on it. Super cool. Or I could go back to my slap with the fuzz. Yeah, it's good, right? Another preset I made but I didn't use um, is uh, Brit 800. So to, to get that really cool kind of 80s rock. <laughs> And if I'm not getting enough gain there, you could always put one of the boosts in or each, you know, just grab a different model. You know? The models all sound really good. And easy enough to th throw on another reverb, go all the way, yep, we could, I actually don't feel the need for an extra EQ, it's, it's sounding awesome, I really like this pedal compressor, get a little of that. Gives us a little extra, a little goose in there. So that's it. Atomic Firebox Mark II. It's a pretty impressive box despite its size and cost. It competes with anything. It is mono, so it's got that. If you want stereo, how easy is it to go into... I, I know you have a closet full of pedals. You just put a pedal board together this big, and you've got pretty much everything you could possibly want. So, uh, right on, guys. Links are below. You could go to Atomic. You could go get a shirt. You could, uh, you know, watch some other videos. Have a, It's your life. Do whatever you want. Have a great time. See ya.